Welcome to BMC Helix Video Solutions. In this video, we will be seeing how to configure and start using the TCTL utility. This is the official documentation which we will be following to download and configure the TCTL utility. So first of all, let me log into the BMC EPD and I am checking the BMC Helix IT Operation Management product. And in that, we can see the TCTL utility with the name for Linux and for Windows. So I will be downloading for Windows. So when I will click on this, it will download the TCTL utility. Same goes for the BMC Helix Innovation Suite on-prem as well. So for downloading TCTL utility from this product, so just log into the BMC Electronic Product Distribution and find out the BMC Helix Innovation Suite on-prem product and then go inside that and we will be seeing the TCTL utility with uh, this name. So for example, here it is BM Selix platform utilities. If I will click download, it will be downloading the TCTL utility again. You can see the one it is from downloaded from ITOM and another one it is from the ITSM. So this is how we will be downloading the TCTL utility. And now we'll see how to configure it. So let's we'll follow the steps to configure TCTL utility. So copy the TCTL utility on Windows operating system and then open the config file. And in the config file, we have parameters like app URL, client ID, client secret, RSSO and enable auth and force prompt. So this all parameter we need to configure by following this documentation. So this is the location on which I have extracted the TCTL utility. Here it is. And this is the config file. So let's will open that. So this is the example file will look like. To get the app URL, let's navigate to the documentation. This is the app URL. So we would need to describe the TMS part and grab the AD platform base URL. So let's will log into the controller node. Let's first of all grab the uh, TMS part. So this is the pod name. Now let me copy that command quickly. I will just put hash so it will not press enter. Okay, now let's add the namespace, then replace the TMS pod name. So we have got the URL, so we need to copy the URL till dot com and put that URL over here like this. Now let's check the client ID. So for client ID, I will navigate here again. Let me copy the command. Let me go back to the controller node. Let me replace the namespace. So this is the client ID. Let me copy this client ID. Now client secret, let me go back to the documentation. So let's copy this command. Let's come back here. Let me replace again the namespace. Let's copy this secret. Let's go back to the configuration file. Now let's get RSS URL. So again, I will copy this command. And then I would need to replace the namespace in this. This is our RSS URL. Let's go to the configuration file. And at the end, we need to add slash RSSO. Now enable auth. Let's make it true. And force prompt. Make it true. So enable auth, it will provide the authentication. Force prompt true. It will provide the warning whenever user would try to change something around the tenant using TCTL. So this is how the configuration file we would need to configure. So let me save this file now. Now let's navigate to the location and uh, open the CMD prompt. So in address bar type CMD, it will open CMD prompt with the location, then execute TCTL login. So TCTL will show this login page. Let me go back to the documentation. So we have executed this TCTL login command and we need to use the default username and password. So I will be using admin and this is the default password. Let me go back to the browser let me put username let's click on the login and uh, login successful so if we'll go back to this we can see that login succeeded now if i will do tctl get tenant i should be seeing the tenant details 
So this is how we will be configuring the TCTL utility. This concludes my video. Thank you for watching. Please refer to the official documentation for additional information.